Hello and welcome to another episode of Wannabe Entrepreneur. Today I want to speak about the struggle of releasing a daily episode. As you know, I've been doing that for almost 100 straight episodes, which is crazy if I think about it. It's also a great way for me to measure for how long I've been uh, in this journey, in this entrepreneur journey, because well, I'm, I'm sharing every day about it and I can easily see, okay, it was uh, 93 or 94 days ago that I actually started. So, I mean, that's that's nice, but I always feel that it's it's a little bit too much to release daily and I've been doing it for two main reasons first of all I like it I really enjoy having a little time of my day when I can be creative and share about my feelings and share about my struggles and victories and so on so that that part is I really enjoy it and second because I thought that having a routine you know getting into your routine it would be also a great technique to to make this podcast grow because it's if and i've noticed this with the other daily shows that i've seen that like once they are part of my routine it's very hard to kick them out and um so that's kind of the main reasons but then he also got me thinking that maybe the fact that i'm doing this daily it's actually diminishing the value and the quality of the content i'm creating and um yeah, that scares me because sometimes I, I actually think about it. Like, what am I going to talk about today? Like, I mean, nothing happens. Nothing actually changed that much from yesterday. And uh, I would love just to come up with, with something to say that is interesting. And sometimes I think, okay, maybe it's, I shouldn't do it so often. And um, I definitely, it's definitely something that I, I struggle, something that, that I think about. And uh, I already thought once I was reaching the 50th episode that I would stop uh, sharing daily. But then I reached that mark. I said, no, I'll continue. And then I thought I would do that on the 80th. And now I'm thinking seriously on doing that on the 100th. If I should reduce how frequent I, I share this, how frequent I post my, my podcast. But uh, yeah, I'm still not sure and uh, I would love to get your input in this. I will tell you how you can uh, give me your uh, feedback in the end of this episode. But another thing that I, it also takes a lot of time, a lot of time from uh, building your podcast is actually marketing. Because so that I can spread the word and get more listeners, I have to tweet a bunch. I have to go through my episodes and you know, cut some segments that might be interesting and compile them in a nice video and then share them around on YouTube and LinkedIn and Twitter. So that takes so much time and so much focus because you really have to, you know, understand what you're doing, understand how social media works, how the algorithm work. You have to investigate how you can actually achieve this. And I hate it and I suck at it. I really don't like marketing I just want to be creative and create products. I just don't want to market them. And um, one thing that uh, you will learn from tomorrow's episode, by the way, I'm just already spoiling because it's a great interview with an entrepreneur. His name is Florian Rose. And one thing that he says is that it's very counterintuitive, but you should automate the things that you're not good at and you don't like from the start, from the start of your business. So... I should already try to find someone or some way to automate the process of spreading the word and the growth of my podcast because I just suck at it and I don't like to do it. So, by the way, if you are a marketing expert or you, if you just like it, to be honest, and you'd like to work on it, just uh, yeah, send me a message because I'm really looking for someone that can help me spread the word and do the marketing for this podcast because I truly believe that this can reach... uh, uh, It it has the potential to be much bigger than it is at the moment. And at the moment, I'm having... Let's say in the first 24 hours, I have about 20 listens per episode, 
which is great. I really feel that I'm already part of some of you, some of your, uh, some of the listeners' routine, and that's really great. And uh, I really appreciate this moment that we have <laughs> together. But I also feel that I could be more, like 20. It, it's great for a daily show, but I, I really believe that it could be like 100 or something. And uh, I don't know how I can reach there. And I've tried a couple of things already. I've tried to, especially interviews, I'm always super excited when I interview someone big, someone that has a big audience, and I tell them and ask them to share with their audience. And maybe I'm not doing that enough, but for instance, when I now interviewed Steph Taylor, and she has a huge audience as well, and I, I asked her if she could share my story or if she could share the our interview with her... With her um, crowds with their network or uh, I guess their followers I she did actually she did and nothing happened actually I didn't get any you know new listeners I mean her interview is now reaching 37 38 uh, listens which is such a great interview so it should actually have much much more and she has so many followers it's weird how come we didn't reach more people and um, yeah so this has been the same for every interview I've done and uh, it has been the same for most of the episodes I've released so I don't know that definitely discouraged me so the fact that I'm putting so much of my effort and telling everyone that I have a podcast and not seeing it grow because it kind of stagnated you know and not knowing what I can do to make it grow it's very frustrating and uh, yeah so I'll definitely be trying to find someone to help me with this, to help me spreading the word and growing the podcast and the marketing and taking over of all of that because I don't want to do it. So if you are that person, just uh, shoot me a message. And uh, yeah, just get excited for tomorrow's interview because I'm super excited to release it. I think it was very interesting. I've learned a bunch with Florian. So yeah, tomorrow there'll be another uh, release of another interview. And uh, yeah, today I'll be working on Change It. I am almost done with a web store. There will be, again, an episode about it soon as well. And uh, if uh, you want to give me feedback about this daily episode. So the question is, should I continue releasing daily episodes? Or should I reduce the frequency? Maybe for three times a week or something like this. And I will actually do a poll on Twitter and I will link it in the description of this podcast. So you can just go there and vote. And I would really, really appreciate your input here because it's something that I cannot do it myself. I I don't know what I should do. I don't know if I should release daily, if I should reduce the frequency. So I really, really appreciate your help there. So the link will be in the description. You can just go there, click and uh, vote and uh, yeah that's all for today's episode see you tomorrow